morning. Welcome to Life Kids Online. I'm Jia Jia Jing Ling. And I'm Auntie Li An. I'm Jia Jia Yongshan. Let's start today with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for who you are. We pray, O Lord Jesus, that we invite you to our house today and help us to get to know you better. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now let's have our worship team to lead us in a time of praise and worship. Bless the Lord of my soul, oh my soul. praise and worship. Now it's lesson time. Are you ready? Last week we learned that we are a godly generation and that God has put people in our lives to help us grow in faith. They are our role models and through this passing on of faith, blessing is passed on from generation to generation. 
But have you ever wondered why does God want to bless us? To answer this question, we have to go all the way back to the time when God created humans. Now, let's take out our Bibles and turn to Genesis chapter 1, verse 27 to 28. What? You do not know where Genesis is? How could you? Genesis is in the first book, chapter 1. Okay? Chapter 1, verse 27 to 28. It says, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over every living thing that moves on the earth. So what does this passage mean to us? It means that when God created male and female in his own image and likeness, it is telling us that we are unique in God's creation. And what's even better is that his first two people, God blessed them, okay? God blessed them and they got God's first blessing. So what did God bless mankind? God bless mankind says in verse 28, to be fruitful, okay? To increase in number, that is what it means by multiply. To fill the earth is to tell us to populate the earth and to subdue it and rule over. It means that God gave us authority and management to subdue and rule over earth. How great these blessings are that God has given to mankind that is you and me. Why does God want to bless us? God wants to bless us because He loves us. He is our Father in heaven and we are His children. He wants to show us love and shower us with His blessings. And because we have received His love and blessings, we can now share it with people around us. We can bless people by giving money, by caring for them, and even praying for them. And we have received blessings from the generation before us, so that we can now pass on the blessings to the next generation. But sometimes blessings don't get passed on to the next generation because of curses. Curses happen when Adam sinned. This caused a relationship with God to break. Next week, we would learn more about curses from Genesis 12 verse 3 and how to break them. So stay tuned for next week's lesson. It's FAM time, family activity moment. So what are we going to do this week? This week, I want you all to go and find out your family tree, which means go find out from your grandparents to your auntie uncles, to your cousins and to everyone else, okay? And from there, I want you to highlight who are the ones that belong to the kingdom of God that has been receiving God's blessing throughout. So I have drawn mine on my father's side because my father's side is very big. It's a huge family, okay? So here you go. Ta-da! So I didn't put all names. I'm just going to put initials. So these are my grandparents and these are my auntie uncles. Yep, my daddy has a big family family and below them are all my cousins and their children and this is my family so the ones that you see are highlighted in yellow are the ones that i know that they belong to the kingdom of god together with me okay so there's still much more to work on in order for us to share the gospel to our family and friends so that all of us together will receive God's blessing upon us. Amen? Let's end today's service with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for who you are and for all the blessings and for all the love you have given us. Heavenly Father, we pray that you will just help us to share the blessings that you have given us to the people around us and also to share your love with those who need it, O Lord. We thank you, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
That's all for this week. So, bye-bye. I'll see you at 11.30. See you later at 11.30. See you at 11.30.